Hello, Davida here. Welcome back to Abstract and Flow. Okay, so today I am going to do a product review and a painting. That's the plan. So, I received some Mecca powder, and I know I've used the, um, this little piggy pigments, but I haven't used the Mecca powder, which I believe are the same, you know, type of material, but, um, different company. And, um, yeah, so we're going to see how it reacts and performs using the recipe that I used for the TLP pigments. So let me show you what I received. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so Hippie Crafter sent me some mecha powders. There are 24 in this pack. And on the back, it gives you directions for coloring with epoxy, coloring with cold press, let's see, coloring cold process soap, and coloring candles. So, this particular powder you can use for a variety of different uh, techniques. So it came in this little box and they are wrapped in plastic and already begun to open it. Um, and I'm assuming that is to, you know, contain some of the powders because you do get a little spillage but um, they, they did a very good job wrapping this 24 colors what am I going to do with 24 colors something amazing I hope so um When using these powders or with any type of pigment, it's highly suggested that you wear a mask so that you're not breathing in any of those particles. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mask up and I'm going to um, mix up some powders with my polycrylic. And um, 8300 base uh, bear, and uh, let's see how it performs. Let's uh, mix up. Let's see. I think I want to do something with their blues. So this is their light blue, and they have a brilliant blue and let's see this one is a Caroline Carolina blue so that looks like a good variation of colors oh wait a minute here's a Robin's egg blue so it looks like we have Four different colors. Oh, wait a minute. Here's another one. <laughs> uh, how do you pronounce that? Phthalo blue. So we have five colors in the blue family. Um, so yeah, I think I may start doing something with the blues. 
and maybe throwing in hmm maybe throwing in let's see oh they have a wine color that might look pretty together And, uh, yeah, maybe some of this, no, not red, uh, maybe some of this scarlet. So, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see, uh, we'll see which ones I end up putting together and using. So, when I mix my, um, pigments, I use... Two parts of the Bear D Base Three Bear Premium Plus, and one part of the Midwax Polycrylic. Now, so I'm going to add the Polycrylic to my little cup and these are uh, 5.5 ounces uh, cups I get from my local Walmart and I like them because they come with little lids so to that I'm gonna add a scoop of the brilliant blue. Oh, okay. Got my little spoon here. And let's see. Let's get a That has a really pretty, pretty, pretty sheen to it. Okay, so I'm going to wet that down using the polycrylic. And I'm going to slowly do it so I don't have extra powders. Loading around in the air. I'm going to go up against the sides and make sure I break everything down. And so far, I am really loving this color. Okay, now I'm going to add two parts of the bear. And this is the deep base. Okay. And let's see how that mixes. The sides. Oh my goodness. So this camera is really not doing it justice. Um. I am really seeing some really pretty sheen there. Now, this consistency with just the bear and the polycrylic is a little fit, I think, for a balloon, which is what I was going to do. So we might have to 
add a touch more poly, uh, yeah, polycrylic. I'm not going to add water to any of these mixes. And uh, okay, see how much that was just an extra tablespoon of polycrylic, and look how much movement it has. Okay, so that looks to be perfect. So I did one part of a polycrylic, and this is um one tablespoon, and then two parts of the bear. And then I added an extra teaspoon, a little plastic teaspoon of the polycrylic. And that is a perfect consistency, I think. Okay. And that's a beautiful color. So let's mix up one more color. And I am going to... Let's see. This is their if I can get it too much of a glare. It's uh their light yellow. And I am just loving the shimmer. Oh my god that these powders are giving me. So, okay, so um, let's see. One tablespoon of, <clears throat> excuse me, the polycrylic. And again, to wet down the powder. Now I'm not measuring the powder, just doing a nice scoop. Okay. And I'm going to slowly wet this using the poly uh, polycrylic. And it mixes very, very well. I like to scrape the sides. Make sure all the powder is wet. Okay. Now we're going to do two tablespoons of the bear. Just a deep base. Eighty three hundred. Okay, mix that around and again <clears throat> I'm not adding any water for um, this recipe. That sheen, let's see. Okay, I'm just trying to get better. There we go. So that is 
little thick for a balloon. Everything looks to be incorporated. It it really did um, incorporate quickly and smoothly. So those um, powders are very, very fine and I'm not having any problem with them I mean I don't feel any grit so you know that they broke down well and maintained uh, their color so let's add one more teaspoon of the polycrylic and let's see what the consistency is oh yeah that is perfect Let's show you that again. This yellow is giving off quite the glare. But, it's a really smooth consistency. And I think, yeah, that's going to be great for, for Bloom. Okay. All right, let's get the cap back on that. And let's see. Um, so here's the teal. I'm sorry, this is their sea green. Sea green. Uh, there you go. Sea green. <laughs> Doesn't look too green right now, but here it is. Already mixed up. Ready to go. I have some brilliant blue and the Carolina blue and I'm going to throw in some of their fuchsia and I think those colors are going to be really pretty so let's get this pour started So, I am going to start with the fuchsia. And I'm going to put a big dollop right in the middle. I'm going to go in with our <clears throat> brilliant blue. Teal. Oh, this is not teal. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, so here comes the light yellow.
that I'm just sporadically throwing on. And I'm primarily just testing the colors. So I'm not really, you know, trying to get, I mean, of course we want everything we do to be beautiful. But I'm primarily testing these um, Hippie Crafters Mega mm, Mica Powders. Oh, Lord. Can't talk tonight. Okay. And we're going to go around the edges with a little bronze. Okay. <clears throat> Use our white cell activator. And let's torch it just a little bit. I do see some little bubbles. And I'm going to blow right in the center. <clears throat> Excuse me, with my... Okay, now we're going to give it a little spin just to open up the lacing a bit, but I can already tell you that that brilliant blue and that sea green is looking spectacular. Okay. Let's spin it a little bit. Okay, folks, that is all we have for this review of... This is Hippie Crafters Mecca Powders that I used for this particular piece. Um, I love, love, love the end results. So, I'm going to link um, in the description bar where you can purchase uh, the Mecca Powders from Hippie Crafter. And um, hope you have some fun with them. So, thanks for tuning in. As I always say, stay blessed, stay safe. See you next pour. Bye. Let's go in just for a little bit of a close-up. And you can see those powders are just shiny.